Bee Simulator. Is it good? Yeah. You play as a worker bee collecting nectar for your hive. That is not all you do. There is also races, chases, dances, as well as side quests, which include all of these activities. But the main activity is pollinating flowers, which is as easy as flying over flowers and listening for the ding. Most of the main missions consist of collecting nectar from certain rare flowers, which are easy to find once you activate bee vision, which makes it first person from a bee's perspective. Pollinating flowers fills up your nectar bar on the hood. Once it's full, you must return to the hive and deposit it before you can pollinate any more. This pollinated nectar can be spent on 3D models of creatures that you've met. You can also buy new bee species which you can play as, as well as hats for your bee to wear and trails that follow behind your bee. The game takes place mostly in Honey Park, which is basically just a smaller version of Central Park, even with the surrounding high-rise buildings. The park is very diverse with lots of places to see, like the zoo, the lake, but specifically the zoo is full of animals and every animal and creature that you meet goes into your glossary which is like a little diary and every animal, insect, flower, creature gets a place in your glossary and if you look at it, it'll have a nice little fact about said creature. All the bees in the story mode are voice acted with mixed results. Some are okay and others are so bad that I'm not sure if they're trying to be funny. Either way, I laughed a few times. Flying is fun and easy to get to grips with which is very important because that is what you're doing for 99% of the time. If you're someone who's more of a fan of the simulator meme games, you'll be happy to know that you can cause a tiny bit of chaos in Bee Simulator. Not as much as Goat Simulator, but as you're a bee, you can sting anything from people to balloons and many more. The balloons will pop and people go ow, but that's about it. The story was nice and heartwarming, which is quite rare for a simulator game, and it's great for all ages. The soundtrack is way better than it ought to be for such a small game. It gives off early 2000s cinematic vibes, I'm thinking Harry Potter sort of magical vibes. The graphics were quite weak in Bee Simulator and the distance was constantly blurry and there's a lot of texture pop-ins for objects that aren't even that far away which is a bit of a shame but the frame rate was very smooth and didn't stutter once on PS5 which is also another rare thing for simulators. There's no online however there is split screen but I didn't try the split screen as I am a sad loner and don't have anyone to try that with. The game was very stable and I never encountered any bugs in my whole playthrough which is great for a game in the 21st century. Especially, and I'm saying it again, a simulator game on console. Lastly, I'm just going to make an observation. Only 40% of the people that played Bee Simulator got past the tutorial. What's that about? The tutorial only took me about 10 minutes to complete. Anyway, that was Bee Simulator, and I give it a 7 out of 10.